What's going on guys? It's the Bourbon Hunter. You know what time it is. Also, I got a new mic. So, I hope it sounds a little bit better for y'all. Let's head to the stores. Got ourselves all of the Bardstowns here, including the Collaborative Series, which is really cool. I don't see this at a lot of stores that have the Bardstown, so definitely something to keep an eye out on. A rum finish. How about that? Bowman Brothers and Isaac Bowman Port in small batch. Look at that. They had the single barrel. Uh-oh. They had it. They had it. I guess I missed it. The local single barrel, Jimmy Red. I heard that this is getting internationally distributed now, so you might start seeing it in a town near you. It's great stuff made down here in South Carolina. A lot of it is 100% corn, so... If you like mellow corn, maybe this is the one for you. The Pritchard Hill Cabernet cast finish, as well as the new Jefferson's Tropics. And of course, all of the other Jeffersons here. All right, so I've been seeing these everywhere, but honestly, I have absolutely no clue why they're so expensive. And they're trying to push this limited bottle thing. There are a lot of stores around here and it's like, oh, they're so limited but I see them everywhere, so I'm not entirely sure if that's just a gimmick or what it is. A little Knob Creek single barrel barrel proof. You got the regular one and you have the bottles pick for $59. Check that out. A little, a little smoked maple. Check this out though. This is, this is what's really interesting. Yeah. But now you have my attention. Now I got your attention. So seven year. Boom, barrel proof. I have not seen this in person yet. I heard this is a really good weeder right here, so if you're looking for something like that, man, Bottles has two of them left. The Bottles Private Barrel for $82.99. 109 proof, not bad. Look what we got here. Cognac finish, as well as the port cask. Old Elks, not bad. Got your Bottles Beverage, $59.99 Knob Creek as well as the new Knob Creek 7 Year Rye, which I have not tried yet, but I've heard great things. So don't count it out. Barrel Seagrass, as well as Peerless. I had a buddy of mine grab this Willet Green Top the other day and he absolutely hated it. So I cannot wait to give that a try and see what that's all about. Six Year and the Russell Single Barrel Rye. All right, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. I believe this is a new product of South Carolina. I got to try it the other day, and I'll tell you what, Jack Daniels, you're doing something right, man. I mean, they've been doing stuff right for a long time, but this bonded rye is fantastic. For $33.99, you cannot go better than that right there. Definitely grab one of these. These are all of the store picks at Bottles. Definitely having to grab a bottle to take home with me for the uh, hurricane coming up. Making sure I'm not stuck at home without something new to try. Check that out. A little local brand with a single barrel store pick. All right, not bad. 119.96 for $60. And it's a weeder. That's pretty cool. Whistle Pig 18, Heaven's Door, Bootlegger. What is that? 26 year old single grain scotch. Interesting. Thank you. So I don't want to bother you. Okay. All right. I can't pass this up. Thirty dollars. You're coming home with me. Before you start attacking these people on their price for their Buffalo Trace, you gotta understand, down here in South Carolina, it is not sitting on the shelf anywhere. So to see it out in the open like that, that's awesome. Wild Turkey 101, great price. Then there's this little bundle, and good for them for having it on the shelf. Alright, check it out. Knob Creek, not bad at all. Angel's Envy as well. Jefferson's, and they have it. 
They said they had it, and by God, they got it. This? You're making me pay you to stand at the cash register? They also got these over here, too. Check that out. Going down the line, got a couple more bottles. It's a pretty good price for Wild Turkey 101. If you're willing to pay, they got it. I'm about to commit a cardinal sin for this channel. I'm about to walk into one of these. A total wine. Can you believe that? I don't know why, but let's go see what they got. Oh yeah, a little Walker's K. In case anybody doesn't know about this brand, this is a sherry cast finish. I did a video on this, but I haven't posted it yet. Uh, it's actually really good, especially for the price. Check that out. One at one per person, will it pot still? Um, yeah, I can't believe somebody was suckered into buying that garbage. Golly. And don't get me wrong, I like Willet. Trust me, like, I like Willet, but that's, for $100, I'm not buying that at all. Here we go. Ooh, Wild Turkey Kentucky Spirit Single Barrel. Oh boy. I was not planning on spending this much money today, but these are good. These are real good. Oh man, they got a few of them. Maybe I'll wait and I'll come back. Yeah, definitely come check this out if you want something like that, if you're a wild turkey fan. Like I said, every store has a Yellowstone store pick down here. I don't know who the rep is, but he did a great job getting all these stores to snag up some of these at 102 proof. It's one of the lower proofed ones I've seen, but you know. And the hype train continues as another Sazerac product hits the shelves that everybody is jumping on from old Barton 1792 distillery two star I mean for $24.99 can you really go wrong at wasting your money if you don't like it it's made by Sazerac so it can't be too bad but another one where everybody needs to know it comes from the old Sazzy rack so for these barrels I'm looking for batch 35 I heard that that one is the bee's knees so Keeping an eye out on these numbers right here, 033. Gotta look for 035. That's gonna be the one that's got the hype around it right now. Barrel does a great job blending, so. No, this is just the regular one. Regular one, cast strength, and then the, I don't know if these are, oh, high malts. Okay, I see. Cool, the Clyde Maeve stuff, obviously. These are sitting everywhere. This is for that one guy that asked about the prices for the Calumet's last video. Uh, here you go, man. Here's all the here's all the ones they have here. Uh, I'm not a fan of Calumet, so they're all yours, buddy. Unfortunately, you'd probably expect to have a little bit of a better price on a big box store for some of these, but it is what it is. Down here, you kind of get what you pay for. So this Barrel Vantage at 104, I should have definitely grabbed another bottle for the $75 or so. 79, I think, was when I saw it last video. Definitely gonna have to wait and get another one of those. Definitely gotta come back and get this seagrass that everyone's telling me to get. I see it a little cheaper at other stores, so that's probably where I'm gonna pick one up. And they have an entire section for their chestnut farms, which if any of y'all don't know about chestnut farms is that Total Wine will actually push this on people that don't know what they're looking for uh, because it's one of their sister brands or they have some affiliation with it. I can't exactly remember, but that's something that they do, but I did see that this is not bad. This bottle and bond from this, not a bad bottle. $120, uh, definitely not gonna grab that, but it is it is a cool marketing thing that they try and do with it. Um, it's funny because the uh, first bottle I ever got from a Total Wine was actually the Chestnut Farms. They suckered me into it. I was not entirely sure what it was. Saw the horse, thought it was cool. Yeah, I fell for it and uh, you know, Back then, I don't really, I didn't really pay attention to the flavor notes or anything like that. I was just drinking whiskey to drink whiskey. So now I know a little bit better, and I know to definitely proceed with caution around that one. I see some pretty cool things. You got some Ezra Brooks, forty-five dollars, as well as twenty-seven dollars for the ninety-nine proof. But check this out. This is what just caught my eye right here. High West Cash Strength hanging on the shelf. They got a good many of them. I'm gonna have to probably end up getting one of these. And it's a small batch for Palmetto State Barrel. Whatever that means, could be a store pick or at least a state pick. Definitely gonna have to grab this one right here. I heard uh, 
interesting comments about the Garrison Brothers from everybody. It was like, stay away from that and only get the Cowboy and then the other higher end one. So, oh, check this out. Here we go. Oh yeah, how many of them? Two left? Oh boy. There might be a Knob Creek 12 picked up today. You know, actually, I don't, I don't think I can pick that one up. We're gonna have to snag that one too. Might as well hold on to this one. Running low on the other bottle I got left, so. Snag one of these here. Not a bad price at all for that. Look at that, 64.99. Check this out. Total Wine's got a little Prairie release. Cognac for one year and three months. Holy crap. High West American Prairie Barrel Select, $69.99. You know, Dante's has one that's aged in a cognac cask, but theirs is only 11 months. And by God, did they take it to a new level here at Total Wine. I love the one from Dante's. You should definitely go snag that. But this one, one year, three months, I bet this thing is as sweet as can be. Man, that is tempting. All right, we're gonna leave one for the next guy. That's what the bourbon community is all about. If you see something that's hard to find, you don't buy them all, you just leave one for the next guy. I've been seeing some videos on this Still Austin stuff, a little cast strength, a little made in Texas, at least two years. And you know what? I haven't heard like the best reviews about it. It is a pretty high corn in the mash bill, so I think I'm gonna pass on this. Just for now, I might I might have a, I might try it at a bar or get to try it somewhere else first before I pick that bottle up. Because I know I have Penelope fans in the audience, I'm gonna show off a little bit of their prices here, this toasted barrel strength single barrel from them. $84, that might be up some of y'all's alley, but this is what we got right here. Some of you out there like the Stellum stuff, so if you like the single barrel Stellum cast strength, that's definitely one to come grab. A little four square for $204. I've never had that, but I'm not paying $204 for Bardstown. Sweetens Cove 22 Tennessee Whiskey. Interesting. Here's some of this Kentucky Owl that I've seen going for like half the price, either overseas or somewhere up north, but that's a bottle that I am not grabbing right now. Here's one for you. The Balmoria Bourbon. Is that, is that the right one to get from the Garrison Brothers? I'm not sure. Oh, here we go. Look at this Woodford right here. Two Gs. Two Gs for this Woodford. And there's a little crown hiding back there too, whatever that is. 18 year crown, $154. Now this Forbidden, unfortunately I have not heard good things about it. Even though it is a uh, allocated it only goes to certain states in South Carolina and some other states, but uh, the fancier the bottle, I think sometimes it is not reflective of the juice inside. The fact that this thing's still around is ridiculous. These little Jeffersons, McLean's are not the best, but people buy them because they're Jefferson's fans, which is fine, which is fine. I love the Jeffersons at Ocean Voyage 26. That's a, that's a good one, but Obviously, check out this Old St. Nick eight-year eight rye. Old St. Nick eight-year rye right here, $159. Miggers Mark Golden Hour, 109 proof. These staves on it, I don't know. I know Sean up at Creekville Spirits just released his store pick, Maker's Mark. I'll add it right here, and it is incredible. Got to try it the other day. 100% recommend picking up that bottle before they're gone. That's all for today, guys. Just to recap for a moment, we have a High West Cast Strength Single Barrel State Pick, which I think is going to be a good bottle to have around the house for $80, as well as we picked up a Knob Creek 12 for only like $65, bucks, and then an Old Granddad 114 for $32. So overall, great haul today. If you want to help see more videos like this, consider supporting us here. Consider joining the Discord. We have over 130 members in our Discord hanging out around the United States just chatting about bourbon whiskey and as well as some of your other hobbies like fishing and cooking meat. So it's a great place to be. As always, guys, thank you for watching. Until next time, Bourbon Hunter out.